Okay, guys, the reason I'm putting this soap stuff up isn't just because I want a virtue signal or anything like that at all. When you go hunting every day, real quick, and, and you don't have, you know, you're not at home and you're camping out in Arkansas, where the roads are paved with sand and rocks that are just, I'm allergic to it, kind of, and my hands just get in really messed up shape, and I'm sure you do too, it's, you don't have to have Arkansas dirt to get messed up hands, but that Arkansas road dirt that gets up on your boat and all that stuff, because you're traveling down the road when it's raining, it ends up on you and it cuts you up. Plus, I'm sure you've all have experienced the splits where your fingers start splitting on the corners. Here, 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 here. And it hurts like hell. You bump yourself and go, ah, like that. And it just hurts. If you haven't experienced this, then you're not into duck hunting that much. What happens is you'll go out and you'll sit in the blind with a heater when it's raining. And the heater dries you out to where your skin cracks at the corners of your fingernails. This is the cure, okay? Really. Goat's milk, beeswax, and honey. Salt. The beeswax and honey softens your skin really soft. And the goat milk makes it exfoliate so you have nice fresh skin on top. See? A lot of times while your fingers are, are splitting is because you haven't washed your hands for three days and you're sitting by heaters and stuff. And you've got all this dead skin. And then the dead skin cracks and pulls your live skin to where it cracks too. And then it's like your fingers are on fire. If you bring along this type of, of soap and wash your hands once or twice a day, they'll stay soft and, and exfoliated. It's kind of lady stuff I'm talking about here but a woman will tell you that I'm right I think wash yourself with this stuff and your skin feels like great plus you can make it where it's scent free that's why I'm suggesting homemade soap to hunters one you can make scent free because, you know, you're hunting deer, I suppose. I don't. I don't hunt deer. I will shoot one, but I don't hunt them. Uh, I'm a duck hunter, pretty much. That's it. I've shot other birds. I've hunted other birds, but I'm into the ducks. And this soap helps me keep my hands where they're working if you abuse your hands for a week the way i do and don't wash them or and you know you can't even get to a shower uh, you need something to help and this stuff helps i kind of keep a towel and a, this rag and my bar of soap then i can go sit by my lake on a, on some rip wrap and wash my hands a cord washes his hands Again, yeah, it was, it was over 10 years ago when I made that video. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Have a great day, everybody. I hope you at least think about making your own soap. It really uh, makes life better. Uh, try it once if you, and then and see. If you ask, I'll send you a bar of soap. It's not that big a deal. Uh, I've set out a few bars of soap and some honey and stuff. 
to friends online. And I, you know, if it helps somebody, why not? Reach out, help them. Uh, homemade soap is great, and once we started using it, it's like we. My wife has friends on Facebook that are from Champaign that have moved out west or wherever, and we've got a friend that. Uh, Carol McNamara is her name and she lives I think in Denver and when she heard we was making soap she was like once you start making once you make soap you'll never buy home, you'll never buy soap again from a store and maybe I should do a little bit of chat on this topic too what's the difference between the store soap and this soap well when I make my homemade soap, I'm using palm oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. And maybe a little castor oil, too. When you buy soap from the store, none of those things are in it. It's oil from making oil production, you see. They have oils that come out that they don't know what to do with. And they make it into soap. Only, if you really start studying it, a lot of the things they label as soap are not soap. Example, uh, suppose you see pH balanced soap, where it's pH 7. If you start studying it into soap and how it works, if when it is PA7 and acts like soap, it's detergent. That's not soap. It's something else. A detergent is set up to where it'll clean things no matter what the pH is. Because you see, when you start cleaning things, the pH changes in the solution as you're washing and scrubbing your clothes to where the, the suds go away, maybe. Well, with detergent, it's always sudsy no matter what. With soap, if it gets to be neutral pH, it's not soap. It won't work anymore. I'm digging a hole here, but uh, study up on what the difference between soap and detergent is, and you will learn very quickly that we are being marketed detergent labeled as soap. This is part of the whole Beverly Hillbillies thing. In the 60s, the oil production was a big deal. And they wanted to get every little nickel they could out of it, you see. It's expensive to produce oil. So they invented ways to make soap with their byproducts. And I think, I'm pretty sure, if you go buy soap at the grocery store, it's made from the byproducts of oil production. Does that sound healthy? Now, which would you rather put on your body? Uh, waste from a chemical plant that produces gasoline? Or the trinity of soap? Palm oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. The soap made with those three things is the best. If we all started making homemade soap, there wouldn't be enough of those things in the world for us all to take a bath. And that's why the store soap isn't real. That's a lot to say, but if you start comparing what I have here to what you bought at the store, name your brand, I don't need to name them. It's just not the same. You get a sticky film on you from certain brands and you can kind of feel it this stuff on my table over here there's absolutely no film at all it will get you so clean you just feel like you're clean and not only that it exfoliates you I mean if you scrub with a washcloth you'll come out clean with your nice new skin on top so you're not carrying around any dead skin on you that's a big deal if you have dry skin because the you want to keep your fresh stuff on top, see? 
And to a hunter, like I said, after about three or four days, your hands start splitting and cracking bad. So if you take along some of this soap and a rag and a towel and then keep your hands clean, you'll feel the difference. It'll be like, oh God, that's good. Just from washing your hands. Uh, it's hard to believe. You gotta try it and see. This homemade soap is far superior to the stuff you buy at the store. Have a great day. God bless you. Thanks for watching and maybe give this a try. There are more than one book on how to make soap. This just happens to have a soap recipe in it. It has all kinds of other things. Lip balms and... I, I, I've went through it. It's been a while, like a few years ago. and Salve. Chest rub. Lip gloss. Lip balm. Candles. It's got a lot of cool stuff in this book. It wasn't cheap. But I'm so glad I got it because of this soap recipe. It has really changed our lives. I encourage you strongly to give this a try. That old yellow soap is the bomb. Bye-bye.